hello guys uh welcome uh, i want to show you how you can solve hacker rank jumping on clouds challenge by using c sharp uh it's easy as the question says uh, what you need to do is to return the integer number of jumps required the minimum one so there might be four and three jumps but you have to return the minimum one. So in short, you, just, you have to determine the shortest route. So it's simple. Uh, as the question says, there is a new mobile game that starts with a consecutively numbered cloud. Some of the clouds are sunrise and others are cumulus. The player can jump on any cumulus cloud having a number that is equal to the number of the current cloud plus one or two the player must avoid the thunder heads thunder heads are dangerous so must avoid that means the minimum number of jumps it will take to jump from the starting position to the last cloud it is always possible to win the game so remember it is always possible to win the <coughs> to win the game for each game you will get an array of clouds number zero if they are safe or one if they must be avoided so zero cloud is safe to jump on but one it must be avoided so it means zero represent cumulus cloud and one represent sundials clouds so example this one so it means it's safe to go through from zero to zero to zero to zero but not to this one you should avoid this so it should go to zero. So if you are counting steps, it means from this zero to another zero is one, uh, another zero is two, another zero is three, another zero is four. But also you can come from zero to this zero, then jump this zero, you go to another zero, then to another. So you might find out you are having only three steps, or only three jumps, as it says here. So you can see this uh, uh, this diagram down here. I like the diagram so because they explain uh, very very easy. It's like uh, you see it's safe to go from this zero to one to three to four to five. The same uh, clouds you can go minimally like this from zero to two. It means it's it's safe to go to one, but you can bypass it and go to two, then three, four. It means one step, two step, three steps. On three steps, so you have to bring the minimum number of jumps or steps. I can say, so uh, it's easy. So uh, as you know, I just use the C sharp. So the first thing. Uh, there is a parameter given to me wh which uh, uh, is a list of integer c so uh, what i did it's i converted it to array uh, though you can you might you can use on list because uh, you can maneuver a, a list uh, collection in c sharp uh, same way as you maneuver array but i'm um, good i'm um, very uh, relax, relaxable or flexible on array. So I changed from list to array. So you can see here, I just changed it from uh, this C to inter to integer array of C1. So I used to array uh, method to change it. So the first thing I initiated, I uh, created a step variable, which is integer, integer step. I assigned it negative one. And why I did that? Uh, because uh, why why I'll be doing uh, a for loop? It I'll start to count uh, all zeros in an uh, array. Then after that, I have to minus it with one. So if uh, I just uh, initiate this step with negative one, it means when it iterates, it will be adding one there so it means it will go to zero then one two three and whatever the way it goes so uh all the good explanation is 
if I count zeros in this array, it means from this example here, uh, it means I get one, two, three, four, five. While the jumps uh, from this zero must be four, because you count a, a jump from one zero to another zero that you consider a one uh, jump. From this zero to another zero, a second jump. From this zero to another zero, uh, it's a third jump and fourth jump. So that's uh, because we start to count from the first uh, zero, uh, zero indexed uh, element. So it means we have to do this. And uh, this is a simple one. So I just uh, calculated, I found the uh, length of the array. So I, I just created a, a variable integer range which is equal to the length of the value. So here I started to use a for loop. So uh, in this uh, question, you can use for loops and if statements inside and some uh, logic there, and some increments. Uh, it's very simple. So you just, as you can see, I just uh, use a for loop and this for loop will start from zero then uh, it will go to the number uh, below the length of the uh, of any array, then it will be incrementing and go further. So, as as I said, I'll be counting these zeros, and then I'll be checking if there are consecutive zeros, so I can jump one and to go to another in order to get the minimum number of jumps. So, you can see here, uh, I just I check if the element is zero, then I increment on negative step step there then i check if the next the next two element are zero if they are zero then the next one i'll just uh name it to one in order in order to be bypassed when it it iterates next time so uh, this is how i do so uh, what i do is i'll copy these codes and paste uh, and paste into my comment on this video and I'll pin it so you might take a look amazingly by your own at your own time so it's very easy so uh, when I learn these codes to go through this one so I already submitted this it worked you can see it solved already and now I'll go to the next one which is repeated string so it's good guys thank you so I wanted just to show you how uh, I solved it uh, in C sharp and how does it look in C sharp uh, thank you guys welcome to another video uh, if you have any comment just drop their comments uh, if you have some suggestion any comments compliments you guys you're welcome uh, Thank you very much.